Yes, here is a question. How can the mind be quiet? How to control the mind? Yes, uh, this is something people feel the need to control the mind because they realize the mind is causing a lot of trouble. Mm. Even when I am, everything is perfectly okay, materially. But if the mind is disturbed, we will not be happy. Mm. So, but we should understand one thing, that the solution is not to make the mind quiet. Because, first of all, it's the nature of the mind to be always active. We know this, even when the senses are not active when we are sleeping at night. The mind is still active, dreaming so many things. So, the nature of the mind is to always be active. And to make it quiet is very difficult, if not impossible. And it's actually not also what we should be doing. Rather, we should give the mind positive engagement. Instead of just becoming controlled by the mind, by allowing the mind to just take us here and there and think of so many things, we should take control of that mind and force the mind to think about the right things. That is the process of yoga, actually. What is the right thing? It is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. There are many ways we can think of God. There's Nam, Rup, Guna, Leela. Uh, uh, there is the holy name of the Lord. There's the form of the Lord, as we see him in the temple. There's the qualities of the Lord and they are the pastimes of the Lord. All of these things, these thinking of these things, is, these are all good thoughts. So we should fill the mind with such thoughts and not try to make it quiet. That will control the mind. It's like a naughty child. Uh, if you tell the child to stop doing mischief and just sit quietly, the mind, the, the child will not agree. It will be very difficult to make the child still. But if you give him positive engagement, uh, then the possibility is there to control that child, stop him from doing mischief. Hare Krishna.